Overwatch just made easily the biggest and most unexpected change coming for Season 3. And this change is going to make a lot of players happy. As you know, there's been some controversy revolving around the prices of the Overwatch skins in the item shop. And while many of Overwatch 1 players have been missing loot boxes, it appears those are not coming back. But in return, they've just implemented a way for you to unlock Overwatch 1 skins entirely for free. So while even though the item shop may have just updated, I highly suggest that you save your coins and listen to this. But before we get into that, if you enjoy the video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content, we're so close to 2000 subs. You can hit that sub button. I really appreciate it. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. So if you played Overwatch 1 before, then previously you had access to something known as legacy credits. These are credits that did carry over into Overwatch 2, and some of you may still have a massive abundance of them. Well, now it looks like those legacy credits are going to be converted into overwatch credits now, i'm sure you're wondering what's the point of changing the name of it does this do anything do we get any extra benefit from naming this something entirely different even though they function the same exact way well now to address the concerns around free rewards everyone is going to have access to 1500 overwatch credits through the free battle pass they've heard your concerns about overall not feeling rewarded enough for playing or feeling like you can't even unlock any skins without having it locked behind a paywall even though you spent so much time playing the first Overwatch, or maybe you're new and you just don't want to spend any money on the game, you don't feel like purchasing the Battle Pass, and maybe you just don't see any value in it. Well, now for anyone who completes the Battle Pass, the free Battle Pass, you're going to have access to 1,500 Overwatch credits. Now, you may be wondering, what's the point of this? Is there any extra benefit to this? Well, now it seems like all of the previous Overwatch 1 skins will now be available through the Hero Gallery. To be more specific, nearly all of the Epic and Legendary skins will now be available, and these are going to be able to be purchased using your Overwatch credit. So now you're going to have access to be able to get skins for simply just playing the game. These same skins will also be available for Overwatch coins as well. If you already have some available to you and you don't have any legacy credits, instead of having to wait for these skins to return, starting season three, you're going to have access to nearly all of them. The biggest part about this is it's going to include seasonal skins such as the Witch Mercy, Surf and Splash, Torbjorn, or Snowman Wrecking Ball anytime throughout the year without waiting for the event to roll around. This was actually something that even I was waiting for. I was hoping the Tiger Huntress Ash was going to come around for this Lunar New Year. It didn't happen to come out, but it looks like I'll have access to it starting Season 3. So basically, for any of you Overwatch 1 players who have additional Legacy credits left over, which will now be Overwatch credits, if you weren't able to fill out your locker in Overwatch 1 because you just couldn't, you know, unlock all of the items through the loot boxes, you will now be able to use your leftover Overwatch credits in order to pretty much finish out your locker or get any skins that you may have missed. Now, the biggest and most unexpected change was the fact that they actually lowered the price of these skins. So previously, you would have paid probably roughly around 1900 overwatch coins in order to lock the skin which is basically a 20 dollars skin but now these skins are now going to be 1500 either overwatch coins or overwatch credits earlier as i was explaining how much overwatch credits you could earn from the free battle pass simply by completing it and playing the game you would earn 1500 overwatch credits well that is exactly how much you need in order to unlock any legendary skin that was already previously in the game Meaning, you now have access to a free Legendary skin every single season just by playing the game. And if you unlock the Battle Pass every three seasons, you have access for two at the end of the season. This is huge because instead of the loot boxes where you have to kind of hope for that 7.5% chance of getting the Legendary in case you, you know, maybe didn't open enough loot boxes in order to get one, or maybe you didn't even get the opportunity to get the skin that you wanted for a hero that you play now you are guaranteed to get the exact skin that you want by simply completing the free battle pass and using those overwatch credits to unlock any skin of your choice now this isn't going to affect any of the new overwatch 2 skins that come out those skins are still likely going to be 20 dollars and i don't think that you're going to be able to use overwatch credits on those but as expected though, again, because this is the Overwatch 2 skins, these are not skins that were missed out on. This is skins that now everyone has an opportunity to. So instead of putting skins in the shop that Overwatch 1 players have already seen and they already had access to and now trying to charge them for them, now they're going to give you access to those skins again still, even if you missed out on them, 
and give you the opportunity to get them for free, which you could have done previously in the first place. The difference is now though, in, just in case, you know, someone is impatient and they don't feel like waiting for their legacy credits, now they still can pay for those Overwatch 1 skins, but instead get them at a discounted price. Now lastly, let's say that you have a massive supply of Overwatch credits or legacy credits and you're just the Jeff Bezos of Overwatch 1, uh, they are going to give players the opportunity later on down the road to use their legacy credits or now Overwatch credits on something else. They state that we understand that some players already have a very large balance of credits to ensure that all players feel rewarded for the time that they are spending playing. We're looking into additional ways for players to use their credits in the future. These changes aren't the end of the journey to make Overwatch 2 a more rewarding game to play. They're just the beginning. We have more updates coming in future seasons and we'll be reading your feedback to understand what's working and what isn't for all of you. Now, one thing that I could see them doing is making it so where there is a way for for you to use your overwatch credits and convert them into overwatch coins this would allow you to then get access to the new skins by trading in currency that you previously had for currency that is available now in order to unlock new skins for free now i highly doubt this will be a one-to-one -one conversion i don't think that you're going to you know be able to convert 1000 overwatch credits into 1000 overwatch coins i just don't see them doing that it'll probably be maybe a two to one conversion so you have to spend twice as much or even three times as much overall at the end of the day those are credits that you got for free and you're getting brand new skins for free at the same time so it still seems like a win-win situation to me so to recap every player is going to have access to 1500 overwatch credits just by playing the free battle pass if you choose to purchase the premium battle pass, you will get an additional 500 credits. Nearly all of the previous Overwatch 1 skins will be available to purchase within the Hero Gallery. Not only that, they are also going to be lowering the cost of the legendary Overwatch 1 skins from 1900 to 1500. Overall, I think these are some massive changes and I'm sure many of you are going to agree with this and honestly, you're probably pretty excited about it. I'm just happy to see that they are listening to the community and making changes for the better. If you enjoyed today's video or found any of this information helpful, please leave a like on it. And if you want to come back and see more Overwatch content like this, smash that sub button and I'll see you guys in the next video.